Master Sin? Yes, Yelu? I just wanted to thank you again for rescuing us. Uh, I don't deserve that. I failed to save your family, and as a citizen of the Empire, I owe you so much more. That's why winning tomorrow's battle is so important. We'll be defending the lives and livelihoods of countless people, not just your village, but people across the League of Nations. Also, the citizens of the Empire must be saved from the ambitions of a tyrant. And I believe we can do it. Um... I believe it too. And I'm praying you come back safely. We'll need all the luck we can get if we're to make it through the day. So every prayer you say makes me feel all the stronger. Hmm? Noah? Hello, Noah. I'm, uh, well, sorry I barged in like that. Barged in? On what? Noah, do you remember our first conversation down in the Rune Barrows? Yeah, I do. It was so quiet, just like now. And look how much our lives have changed. You've gone from a newcomer in the Watch to the commander of the Alliance, and I've left the Empire to fight at your side. I guess it is pretty strange. My mind's been so wrapped up in everything going on that I've forgotten how to reminisce. Well, at least you haven't changed much. You meddle on a much bigger scale now, but otherwise, eh. Oh, that's all I've changed? Eh? When we met, I thought my path in life was fame, renown, and living for my family. My father had pinned his hopes on my elder brother. When he died on the battlefield, grief overwhelmed my mother and she completely closed down. On that day, I decided it was my turn to step up. I lived for my house so blindly that I even raised my blade against you, my friend. It's like every decision I made to that point was wrong. And now, I don't know who I am anymore. Really? Because I just see the same person you've always been. And what is that? Someone who has this... Well, I guess you'd call it a creed? Or a code, maybe. Values that you stick by, no matter what. I saw it in you at the Barrows. I saw it in you when we fought an Eltis Vice. And I see it in you now. A 
code. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know what I was thinking that day I left Kashiri. I just sort of went. But then to meet someone like you, a man with actual goals and principles, it was mind-blowing. And I admired you for it. <laughs> so why do you keep fighting this war? And don't say to meddle, because we both know it's more than that. Uh, my mother died when Lane and I were little, so Dad was the one who raised us. He did everything. And then one day, poof, he was gone too. Some bandits raided the village, he decided to fight back. And... Uh, as a kid, I couldn't begin to understand why he did that. And in fact, I, I hated him for it. I hated that he made it his problem when he didn't have to. Like, was whatever he was trying to accomplish that much more important than us? I wanted so badly to understand him. I see. And did you find your answer? <laughs> yeah. Turns out I'm a lot more like him than I realized. I wouldn't be here if he hadn't stood up that day to protect me, Lean, and the rest of the village. So that's why I'm doing the same now. <laughs> well, don't forget there are lots of people ready to fight for you as well. Including me. Thanks, Sane. I'm glad you'll be with me for the battle tomorrow. So long as we remain together, we cannot lose. I should go, Noah. Have to rest up for tomorrow. That we do. Noah! Everything all right, Yuma? Oh, um, well, I suppose I'm so nervous about tomorrow that I'm having trouble falling asleep. I thought talking with Periel might calm my nerves, but when I went to her quarters, she wasn't there. Janquist didn't seem to know where she was either, so I've been trying to figure out where she might, uh, by which I mean. Yes? She's, she's not in your quarters, is she? I think you've got the wrong idea. Oh, goodness, but I'm so very worried. Ever since those Imperial troops appeared on the horizon, she's had this agonized expression on her face. I do hope nothing bad happened. Uh, but she seems to trust you, so if you see her, do you think you could reach out? Sure, I'll do that. All right. Oh, I'm so useless. No wonder she doesn't confide in me. I wonder where Puriel went. I 
I wonder where Puriel went. Evening, Noah. Couldn't sleep. Just out for a walk. What about you, Hildy? I've been double checking everything for tomorrow. We can't afford a single mistake in such an important battle. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I had my reservations when the Lieutenant, when Sane told me he was deserting the Empire. My entire life had been built around my military career, and the thought of turning my coat was unimaginable. So why'd you do it? Because I owe a debt to House Kessling and Sane's father. In fact, that's how I ended up becoming Sane's aide. He always seemed conflicted, both when he was out on missions and when he was placed under Duke's Aldrich's command. I'm sure he was just as conflicted by his decision to leave, but the moment he did, it was like the shackles came off. He was finally free to fight for his own beliefs, and I could see he was happy. That's why I went along with him, because seeing him happy also made me happy. I believe we have you to thank for being such a strong influence on Sane. Oh, I don't know about that. No, it's true. So, on behalf of the Lieutenant, allow me to extend my deepest thanks. You helped him discover that he could walk his own path through life. You set him free. Oh, I don't. I mean, that seems a little... Wait, really? I think I'll get back to work, Commander. Don't stay up too late. We need you on top form tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Slow down, General! You're overdoing it before the big battle. <laughs> It'll take more than a few drinks to topple the mighty Kogan! Oh! Ho there, cousin! Come for a little pre-battle celebration? Um... <laughs> he wouldn't come see us for that! Oh, you're no fun. Listen, cousin, when I'm done tearing up the battlefield tomorrow, I'm gonna throw my head back and shout, VICTORY! with a big belly laugh, just for you. <laughs> Seriously though, Noah, we don't have any doubts you're gonna lead us to a win. Practically a given! Hey! Wish us luck out there, cousin. Not that we need it. <laughs> That'll be fun to celebrate with once we win the war. Slow down, General. You're overdoing it before the big battle. Ho there, cousin. Come for a little pre-battle celebration? 
<laughs> he wouldn't come see us for that. Noah, you're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> Sorry, Leon. Amusing, coming from a gal who can't get to sleep because she's too excited. Mimi, shh, don't tell him that. Aha, caught in a web of lies. Web, it's one little lie that's like a strand of a lie, if anything. The web thickens. No, man, webs do not thicken. They, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, though. Feels like it was only yesterday that we met. That's how life is. Time rolls by without you noticing. Until one day, you're looking around, wondering where it all went. Yeah, I guess that's true. Say, Noah, after we win tomorrow and send the Empire packing... What you gonna do with yourself? I honestly haven't given it much thought. Really? Okay, okay, so hear me out. What if we formed a new watch? We could hunt monsters, teach brigands a lesson or two, fun times like that. <laughs> that does sound fun, actually. Right? Uh, Mimi, are you in? I must finish my journey of the sword. Oh, boo! But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tag along for a little while. A connection like ours deserves that much. Really? Wow! Now we just gotta rub Gar in! <laughs> well, now that I've got something to look forward to, I'm gonna tuck in. Big victory in the works tomorrow and all that, right? Sleep well, you two. <laughs> She'll never change. No, probably not. And neither will you. You're steady as a rock, which is probably why so many people stand by you. As for me, you've taken me on an incredible journey as a swordswoman, and I'm grateful. Oh, I didn't do anything special. Hmm. Well, perhaps I'll turn in as well. Can't swing a sword with tired arms, after all. Yeah. We're going to win, Noah. We sure are. Oh, hey, forgot to mention, when we form our new watch, I'm carrying over my status as senior member. Wouldn't have it any other way, boss. That's my kiddo.
Trouble sleeping, Commander. I needn't stress how crucial it is to be rested for tomorrow, I trust. Yeah, I know. Melrich, tell me something, and don't lie. Do we have any chance at winning this thing? Well, I suppose you deserve an accurate assessment of our chances. If every single one of our ruses is a success, I place our odds at three in ten. Three in ten? That's... Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that said, and I do not put this out into the world as some hollow lie to boost morale. I believe we will win. Wait, really? The thing about people is that you can't take their full measure based on mere numbers and information. To me, that's the most fascinating part of living. As a tactician, I look at the numbers, analyze the strategy, and tell you three in ten. But when I look at how hard everyone has prepared for tomorrow, and how resolutely they face the challenge, I believe something different. I believe it's what's inside that will decide who wins. And by the measure of our hearts and spirits, we are certain to carry the day. So that is my answer, given not as a tactician, but as a rather plain man named Melridge. I'm glad you said that. Because I feel like we're going to win, too. Then we shall. Oh, I should retire now. After all, I have to prepare not only a battle plan, but a victory feast. Make it a good one. Perhaps I'll turn in as well. Can't swing a sword with tired arms, after all. Sleep well, you two. Hey, Noah. Out taking the air? Probably wouldn't kill you to catch some shut-eye. I'm on it. The fates of a lot of folks are on the line tomorrow. I know, Gar. It's a big responsibility, but I'm ready to shoulder it. <laughs> Didn't think I had to worry. All you gotta do is stand tall like always. We'll fight for you to our dying breath. Thanks, Gar. Tell me that after we win. Nothing fills a mercenary's belly like a savory meal after a sweet victory. So let's make sure we get extra helpings of both, yeah? <laughs> Good plan. The damn Empire doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Night. Oh, and get to sleep already. My, my, but here's a rare guest. 
You are the last person I expected to wander in. A young woman alone in the enemy camp? You're fortunate my officers spotted and reported you. A woman is less likely to be summarily cut down than a man. And besides, sometimes one must cross the fire to reach water. Meaning what? You haven't come to offer terms of surrender, I presume? No. The others are determined to fight on the morrow despite the odds. Then why? I wish to remove myself from their foolish gamble. <laughs> you intend to surrender alone? Certainly not. I'd sooner break my own knees than bend one to the Dukes. Please just get to the point. During the confusion before tomorrow's battle, I intend to take several of my oldest attendants and flee this place. I have come here to buy safe passage. Your terms? After the battle commences, but before Kinan storms the castle, I need a guarantee we will be let through unharmed. We will abandon the others at the last possible moment, and with your troops at the gates, the Alliance will be unable to pursue. <laughs> Only you would dare to attempt a purchase of your freedom while coming to us empty-handed. House Groom's entire fortune is hidden in a secret treasure vault in Eltisvice. It is yours, if you but agree. Hmm... A tempting offer. However... If you do this, House Groom's name will be dishonored forever. I have more important things to protect than honor and glory. Let them name me a coward. At least I'll be alive to hear it. Here, the signet ring of House Groom, to sweeten the deal, if I have failed to convince you already. Are we agreed? <laughs> it's no secret that you humans value your necks above all else. But very well, we are agreed. I only wish I could have seen that sniveling wretch, Salus Bailrunt, beg for his life. <laughs> I've sent the others away. It's safe. I thank you for granting me a meeting on short notice, General. I have something that I think you should see. I was under the impression House Kessling had sided with Dukes Aldrich. As head of my house, I had a responsibility to ensure my family's survival. All the same. You've had a change of heart. Under the Duke's nose, I solicited the help of some nobles who oppose him, and used a collaborator in the Intelligence Bureau to get my hands on this. And what have we here? Is this genuine? He managed to keep this one seal hidden from the Dukes. 
I should not have to tell you. It is authentic. You've crossed a perilous bridge, Craig. Perhaps. But no matter what banner he stands under, my son is my son. You all fired up for the big day? Might even be the most important day of our lives. Uh, not tied to the pressure or anything, which I'm probably doing, so I'll just shut up now. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> She's right, you know. It is the most important day of our lives. Ah, everyone's gathered in the Great Hall. You coming? Right behind you. Well, the gang's all here. Sorry for running late. That's unusual for you, my lady. I had a few odds and ends to attend to. There's just so much to get ready. Are you ready to move out? Not yet. As you wish, but please make haste. Are you ready to move out? Not yet. Not getting cold feet, are you? Are you ready to move out? Not yet. Is everything all right, Noah? Are you ready to move out? Not yet. Quickly, Commander. Are you ready to move out? Yes, it's time. The day has come for our final battle with Dukes Aldric and his Imperial Legion. Our fates will be decided this day, as well as the fates of countless others. Duke Saldric seeks to claim the power of the Rune Lenses for his own ambitions, and is sacrificing innocent lives to do so. We have to stop him, no matter the cost. Look around you. 
We have parents, children, siblings, lovers, and friends, both new and old. People whose homes and countries stand imperiled, whose ideals and cultures are on the brink. Everyone here has something worth protecting, and we will fight to the last to keep them safe. Together we fight! Together we triumph! For the sake of the people and places we love, let us claim this victory together! Are you ready to show those imps the steel of the Alliance? We worked endless nights to get you weapons and equipment, and we know you won't let that be in vain. And if you thought breakfast was good, you're gonna love tonight's victory feast. We believe in you! Yar! We be fighting for the glory of all races! These Imperial Cravens don't stand a chance! These are our lands. It's our responsibility to defend them. And defend them we will. Brothers and sisters of the Alliance, onward to victory! Today marks the end of the League of Nations. Congratulations, Your Grace. Yes. A page has indeed been turned. Yet, this is but one more passage in my greater story. For the war will continue apace. Can I rely on your continued fealty? Myself, my sword, and my life belong to you, your grace. To war! To war! Alliance, attack! Pathetic fools! What do they mean to accomplish with only half, no, less than half our numbers? No wonder that woman wants to demean herself by running for the hills! <laughs> Fight for king and country to the bitter end. I only pray they understand when I do the same. Place the older Drakkar at the fore and advance! It's time our enemy saw the new face of war! I shall make offerings of them on the bloody altar of conquest! Unhallowed corpses. 
forces! Attack! If we don't find a way to contain that thing, all the clever ruses in the world won't save us from utter destruction. had a plan. He, he's here! He came for us! Primitive race like the tree folk come by such power. Pay the dragon no heed. Advance. All right, it's time. Give the signal, Jenkins. Yes, milady. Hmm. There's the cowardly woman's signal. At least she's smart enough to know one overgrown plant won't change her fate. Alert the troops. Tell them to momentarily halt their advance and refrain from engagement. At once, sire. As the battle is already raging, I shall go personally to ensure no harm befalls her in the confusion. <laughs> you worry over much. One must uphold one's promises to a lady, sire. Sure, Your Grace. The Kinani seem to have halted their advance. Halt it! What is Valmaris thinking? It's now or never. Give the signal carry. Uh right. I will do that because I'm totally ready to do that. Because I am perfect. Hunt 
dare they keep me on a knife's edge for so long? Even one as great as I was starting to lose my composure. Don't you dare, Thrall! You're decomposed enough as it is! Yeah, can we just get on with it? You know what to do, yes? Of course. All Guardians are taught the secrets of the Rune Letters. Very well. Then follow my lead and focus everything on the Primal Lens. What in blazes is that sound? The Reverend Army is... They're turning into dust! Right on cue, the Forward Clan and the Elves stand with the League of Nations. Now show them how true our arrows fly! Archers, knock! Archers! Loose! I am Electra, General of the Norasturi Army, and my every waking moment has been spent in anticipation of this day. Hear me, my soldiers! Long have you suffered the Empire's indignities and borne the unbearable for your country! But, together, we will focus your anger into a single, mighty blade! Today, we defeat our sorrows and avenge our beloved Athrobolt! Now let us overrun these Canarni dogs! Charge! An ambush? Curse those wretched elves! Those blasted stragglers! Counterattack now! Send everyone! We can't, sire! The soldiers were just given the order to stand down! Our lines are in chaos! Contain this pandemonium at once, Vordis! Vordis! General Vordis is on the front line, sire. I'll have hands for this! Reform the ranks at once! I don't care what it takes! Oh, yeah! Woo! Look at the elves go! Wait, isn't that... General Electra! She's alive! General Electra of Norrisu, with me!
is happening out there? The Reverend Army has been annihilated, Your Grace. Also, our troops have been ambushed by both the Elves and a company of Norasturi stragglers, led by General Electra. I don't care if they've been ambushed. We still have more than double their numbers, so get out there and crush them! Your Grace. Beg pardon, Your Grace, but... Yes! What now? Warriors of Kina! I hereby renounce the King's sworn oath I made upon these hordes! Henceforth, I follow the honor of my heart and fight for the Alliance! My enemy is Duke's Aldrich and his cursed empire. And if your heart knows this to be as true as mine, then follow me to victory! Onward with General Vortis! We'll show those Galdians what Dragon Newt warriors are made of! Those filthy Dragon Newt traitors! To arms! To arms! The Kanani's have turned against us! What is the meaning of this, Fortis? You are Kingsworn! I no longer have a king. You accuse Lady Periel of demeaning herself. She said there are more important things to protect than honor and glory, you scoffed. You wouldn't know true nobility if it grabbed you by the horns. Oh, spare me your momentary crisis of conscience! But this is no crisis. With every fiber of my being, I renounce you. Upon us! Those Kinani lizards actually had the gall to betray me! Why do it now? Spread the word! I want an all out attack on the Alliance's main force! Make it known! A generous reward awaits whoever brings me the head of the blasted boy who commands them! You! We'll lead the charge, Goldwyn. I order it in your Emperor's name! War is opportunity. The ability to seize the right chance at the right time. The time has never been more ripe. You wouldn't dare! Aldrich, you wicked traitor! Your crimes have been brought to light! You murdered the late Emperor, 
and sequestered his son away to use as your pawn. What rot? Where is your proof? I hold in my hand a letter from His Young Excellency himself. It was entrusted to me by a number of principled individuals who, at great risk to their own life and limb, managed to elude your surveillance network. Hear these words, Aldrich. By order of His Excellency Ishmael Fitzanthus, Emperor of the Gordian Empire, his father's murderer is to be put to the sword. No! No! This cannot be! No! Wait! Look over there! It's General Goldwyn, really! He is! He is! The General is going to fight with us! I can't believe it, but I think you're right. But why? What happened? Do you remember what I told you last night, Commander? I said victory depends on what's inside a person, which is why we would carry the day. So it's really that simple. Don't listen to a word he says, Noah. You can't trust any rogue who sends a lady into the enemy camp so she can pretend to be a scared little girl. Agreed. I can't count how many times he sent me into Imperial territory to spy on the Intelligence Bureau. And he insisted I pretend to be philandering in order to avoid suspicion. Wait, what? I totally believe that! You may submit your complaints later. What matters now is how we use this chance. He's right. Everyone target Aldrich's main force! Advance! Let me at him! You impudent worms! Significant maggots! I'll not let you lay a single finger on his grace. We've made it this far. Let's find Aldrich and put him down. That's right. Now we finish it. Time is on our side and we must not waste it. Rush his command post. If you strike down the Dukes, the entire Imperial Army will collapse. Good luck, Commander Noah. Good luck, Lieutenant Sane. We need to hurry, Noah. I know. Everyone is counting on us. Who else will be going with you? Okay, let's go find some sweet treats. 
Shrek! What? I have to babysit again. Joining us, Guru? Ready to hustle! Allow me to enchant you with my spear work. Missed you, friendos! I'll gladly join you. Now follow me! To victory! War is nothing but an endless money sink. We need to finish this as quickly as possible. Good luck to you, my commander.
The Alliance's strike team will be here at any moment, Your Grace. We must withdraw quickly. It's too late for that. Aldrich! Well, well. If it isn't the treasonous Kessling Whelp and the commander of the mighty Alliance. Noah, was it? You are not wanted here! Too bad, because we've come to strike you down. Here for my head, are you, boy? And yet, my cause is great. For I am the one who will usher this world into a new and glorious evolution! By illuminating the workings of the Rune Lens's power, I will lead the way to a brighter future for all humanity! But only at the cost of innocent lives! We're ending your bloody scheme, Aldric. Your dream dies today! Noah! Sane! Forgive me, Heinrich, but you know what I must ask. There is not to forgive, Your Grace. You saved my life, and it is yours to use as you see fit. I will remember this act of loyalty and courage forever. I can know no greater honor. Get back here, Aldric! Not one step farther! I am Imperial General Heinrich, the Duke's shield, the Duke's sword! And I will stop you even at the cost of my flesh, my life, and my soul! Do or die, Sane. Do or die, Noah. Show me some hustle! Hi! 
end of it. You well yield. What? Don't stop now. <laughs> all of you. Are you all right? Oh, you son. me. Drushes. <laughs> Fools. All of you. From a lens? Yes. It sleeps within my flesh. Tremendous power. Inside you? It is too much for a person to control. If it wasn't for the lens's power, my beloved, my poor family, I would not have. I would never... The Duke's cause is just, and I will not allow you to stand in his way! I am his... No! And forever! He disabled his rake, you! There's nothing holding the magic back! Aldrich has escaped. I'm sorry. All the same, the Imperial Army is retreating. Wait, do you mean... Victory is ours. But what about the Jukes? General Goldwyn's defection is already sending waves through the Imperial Army. The Dukes is nothing if not skilled at reading a situation. He knows there is no way he can cling to power. Then we did it! We've kept everyone safe! Yes, we did. Now, hold your heads high because it's time for your triumphant return home. Now we're talking. Ain't no wine sweeter than what's poured from the victory cask. Couldn't have done it without you, Marissa. 
my name is pronounced Marcus. Nice try, Thrall. General Goldwyn! Lieutenant Sane Kessling, I owe you a debt of gratitude. Without your brave actions, Aldrich's despicable experimentation and murder of the late Emperor might never have come to light. You honor me, General. I'm so glad to see you safe, General. How did you do it? After scouring Norister for stragglers, I laid low in neighboring lands until the moment was right, which turned out to be the last possible moment. <laughs> Something tells me the good tactician wanted it that way. Commander Noah, with your permission, I and my like-minded Dragonute warriors wish to join the Alliance. You'd be most welcome, General. you decide to side with us? Lady Periel won me over with her noble spirit. When I look back on the things I have done and compare myself, I feel great shame. The Alliance has brought together all manner of strengths and ideals. I believe that is the reason that we won. And yes, there are still battles to be fought, but before that, we have another matter to attend to. We do? <laughs> now that's what I wanted to hear. I've been roughing it for how many days now? He's right. There's one thing everyone here has been waiting for. The order should come from you, Commander. The grub, the smorgasbord, the big gut spectacular. I hear there's already a most impressive spread laid out below. Well, don't let me hold you up. Everyone dig in, and that's an order. Can I help you, General Vortis? I fear I must deliver some unhappy news. What is it? King Silas Balerin died in prison after being taken captive by the Empire. The King is... dead? But that can't be. I swore I would never abandon him. May his soul find peace. If it consoles you, the Dukes wanted him to reveal your castle's location, but he remained steadfast to the last. His silence delayed the Empire's arrival a full week. Perhaps the king also was ashamed of his behavior during the conflict, and sought to do right in the end. Had he given in, today would likely have gone most differently. Oh. General. In peacetime, 
King Sullus never failed to look after his subjects. He was utterly devoted to us. And yet, he abandoned us in our hour of greatest need. But the real King Sullus, the one I remember, he was a fine man. Good evening, Noah. Did you tire of the fate? Sort of. Between Gar and Sabine and General Kogan, things were getting a little too rowdy for comfort. <laughs> yes, it does sound as if a good time is being had by all. So, what brings you here? Not like you to just pop by. It occurred to me that I never properly thanked you. For what? The favor I asked of you in Eltisvice. Not only did you raise a resistance army, you turned it into an incredible home for so many people. So, for the record, Noah, thank you. Um, of course. I mean, you're welcome. But you deserve just as much credit, Perry. I wouldn't have done any of this without you giving me a push. So, you know, thank you too. <laughs> um, Perry? Remember how I said you reminded me of someone I cared about? I take it back. Up close, you're nothing like him. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Yes, well, I bid you good night. Tomorrow, we're going to officially comment on the victory, so you'd best get to work on your speech. Sleep well, Noah. Might I have everyone's attention? This is nothing like the last pep talk. Yeah, well, there aren't a billion guys outside waiting to kill us. <laughs> Fair point. Through your determination, your courage, and your spirit, we have emerged from our long battle victorious. And we gather here today to share in that joy together. I'm just glad we came out of it alive. Kubi! But while the battle may be won, the war is not. Even so, there's nothing wrong with taking a day to celebrate. Hear, hear. Commander Noah, would you say a few words to commemorate our victory? Oh, um, right. Break a leg, kiddo. Ha <laughs> 
victory, he says. Let's see how well they react when their guards are down. What happened? Who did that? There! Get it! Doctor, is she... Lil' Perry? It's been three days! I am truly sorry. What? No, 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 this can't... I mean, she can't die. She can't. I did everything in my power. But the arrow was tipped with the rare poison that has no antidote. to believe it. She doesn't deserve this. After everything we've been through together, it's not fair. <sighs> Noah, I... Noah? Is she awake? Milady wishes to speak with you. Could you come inside? Of course. Oh, Noah. Um, hey, Perry. Goodness, no need to look so dreadfully sad. Why did you do that? Why did you save me? Not everything is about you, Noah. I was protecting something greater. I don't... Hope, Noah. I was protecting hope. <sighs> but why is that your job? I don't know. Why is it your job to keep fighting for people? Well, okay, but... Some years ago, my father succumbed to an illness. When he passed, I was overcome with grief. I thought my tears might never stop. But on that night, I realized something. Though my father doted on me, not once. Did he spare me a word of praise? Not once. No, your ladyship. Your father. I know, Emir. I know father loved me. And I loved every day with him in turn. He clearly wanted a son. I saw that truth every time he looked at me. He was always so terrible at hiding it. Janquis? Yes, my lady. Do you think Father would praise me now? Yes, my lady. 
I am certain of it. Good. I'm glad. Yuma, might I ask you a favor? A distant relative of mine and house groom will require a guardian. Can I count on you to provide? Yes, of course. I swear it. And I'll get Altus Vice and all the lands of Groom back for you and defend them to my dying day. You have nothing to fear. But, but none of this matters because you're going to get better. I know you will. I... <laughs> Thank you. Noah? I'm here, Perry. There it is. That's the look that tells me everything will be all right. But... I'm so very tired. I I think I'll rest now. I'm so grateful you came into my life, Perry. <laughs> Jenkins, do something for me. Anything, milady? Would you scratch my head, like you used to, when I was small? It always helped me sleep so peacefully. Of course, milady. Soldiers, advance! Today we take our homeland back! Go, go, go! Maximum hustle! <sighs> home sweet home. Now let's hunt down the last of the Imperial stragglers. Marissa really wanted to be here for this, but I'm glad I talked her out of it. <sighs> Gotta make sure Yarnan is as beautiful as she remembers before she returns. We're home, General. I just wish King Salas were here to see this. I know he would want us to watch over Norister and House Bailrand in his stead. Morning, Noah. How are you today? Oh, morning, Leon. You want to head over to the Great Hall? They've got big news about the Liberation Campaign. <laughs> yep. You miss Periel. Yeah, me too. But I know she'd want us to keep living as best we can.
Now that Commander Noah is here, shall we discuss how the counteroffensive is progressing? Can't believe it's been a whole month since the big battle. As you know, we have sent forces to liberate the League's occupied cities. General Cassius to Haishan, General Electra to Athrobald, and Guardian Wave to Yarnon. I have received word from all three that their attempts were successful. When the tides are with you, they're with you. I tried to convince Cassius to let me go along. Same. I wanted to go to Yarnan, but Wave said they could handle it without me. All I wanted was to be there to set my village free, but he said I was needed more here. The General was concerned about you putting yourself in harm's way, Your Majesty. Mm. What we know is this. The Empire's military campaign is flagging. A large factor in that was our successful mission to rescue the young Emperor, which has caused public sentiment to turn against the Dukes. Lieutenant Sane deserves much praise for his deft execution of this difficult mission. I could not have seen it through without the help of you, my father, and many others. Even the Intelligence Bureau came through for us, after I called in a few favors. We must seize the moment and attack Dukes Aldrich on his own soil. If we hesitate, it will give him a chance to regroup. Knowing him, he's already hatching a plan to reclaim power. And given time, he will succeed. Don't worry. We won't give him the chance. If you're facing off with the boss man again, you better believe I'm coming along. As a run-up to that, we need to liberate Eltisvice so we can use it as a staging ground for the invasion. So, Eltisvice's day has finally come. We do this for Lady Periel. We ain't losing this fight. I don't care what it takes. Currently, Altus Vice is being held by General Chapel Winlert, who fled there after eluding capture in Haishan. As previously discussed, we will mount our attack without waiting for Generals Cassius and Electra or Guardian Wave to return. Are you ready, Commander? Give me a moment. What, you forget something? Very well. Come see me when you're ready to depart. Welcome back, Commander. Shall I give the order? Give me a moment. <sighs> Again, Noah? Really? Very well. Come see me when you're ready to depart. Welcome back, Commander. Shall I give the order? Give me a moment. Very well. Come see me when you're ready to depart. Welcome back, Commander. Shall I give the order? It's time to set Eltis Vice free. And free her we shall. 
Come on, Noah. Best of luck, my boy. I have all faith that you'll prevail. We will. Whatever it takes. After all this time, here we stand again. Time to chase some rats out of our home. Stay vigilant, everyone. No mistakes. This one's for her ladyship. It's a battle, then. Today, we liberate Eltis Vice. It. This can't be the end! Hold your ground! Remember your debt to Dukes Aldric! He who raised you all out of obscurity! Show these dogs that the glory of the Empire never fades! Blazes? Is that a room tank? So the Kessling boy is here. That traitorous whelp. Never imagined we'd be doing this again. Compared to last time, you seem a lot more at peace with it. True. Back then, the lieutenant... Well, it's in the past. How about it, Lieutenant? Give the order and let's blast our way to a brighter tomorrow. Well said. Take aim at the main gates and... Fire! <laughs> oh, this is way more enjoyable when the tank is on your side. Don't stop now! Hee hee hee! Let's see how they like it! Battlefield brethren, follow me! Draw your swords and form a shield wall! We must stand and fight! Behold! The secret power of the rune lenses! and House Groom! 
This city is our second home. Full speed ahead, guys. In the name of Lady Periel, this city will be free. Her ladyship never gave up on trying to protect this place, and neither will we. The Empire has had their way for long enough. Her ladyship loved this city with all her heart. And we will not fail her now. Just execute the plan. Concentrate your attack! Don't miss! Attack! Fend them off! Ah, the time for battle has come! No more! <sighs> you all did well. We seem to have retreated! The enemy has fled! We! Enemy unit destroyed! We're through the gates! Seize control of the city! Quickly! Follow me! Feels like forever since we fled this place. But we still know the city better than anyone, so let's get this done. Who will you be taking with you? Really? You're gonna be sorry. Spear me the babysitter talk this time, okay? The 
It is a pleasure to serve. Make room for Dijkstra. Oh, so much for peace and quiet. Together we will prevail! I'll gladly join you. Hmm. Disappointing, but I understand. Right. Let's get to it. Cowards going. Stand your ground. Good luck, luck. Yeah. You're ah. nothing. Hey, nice to You're nothing. Your way. Nice to ah. You're nothing. For no. you're nothing, old. Ah. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. You're no. You too. Attack. <laughs> Uh, uh, huh. Nice try! Four! Go! Got you now! <laughs> Dear! Uh, you're no. uh, Coming your way! Nice! You're, you're no. Nice try! Uh, you're uh, you're no. Nice try! Four! Go! Uh, yeah. I'm done. I call on you, Rue! The coup de gras. Piece of cake. This is as far as you go. It's go time! <laughs> You're <laughs> <piece> of... <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice <laughs> try! <laughs> You're nice try! <laughs> Here! <laughs> nice, 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 nice try! Four. Go! <laughs> nice, <Yeah>. try. <laughs> nice try! <laughs> nice try! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing! Nothing! Four! Go! I call on you, dear! I'm Not done. Come on! Hey, hey, hey. No. No. no! How do you like me now? Piece of cake! In fact, we'll go as far as we please. I'm a mayor, you know? Thank you. 
Taking Eltisvice back, so step aside! Now, this part I'm good at. Ha. You're nothing! I You're not! Ah. <laughs> Got you now! <laughs> ha. Ha. You're, <laughs> You're not for! Go! Yeah! <laughs> Come on! No. I call on you, Rune. I know. Take on. How do you like me now? Piece of cake. Experience is strength. Come on! We're almost there! Something already, you idiots! We must hold the city! We cannot permit the Alliance to mount an attack on the Duke's lands! That would mean the end of House Winlot! No, 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 no! You're finished, Chapel! The city is ours! You maggots have dashed my hopes! Stolen my future! Her ladyship loved this city. We won't let you stay here and be a blight on it. Let's get him! Good luck, luck! Ha. You're nothing! <laughs> You're nice <laughs> try! Coming your way! You're not, you're no, you're nothing! For nice try, uh, go! Where do you? You're no, you're nothing! You two! Oh, 
that yeah. sharp I can uh. not. Uh. I can not. Go on. Uh. Are you all right? Thanks. Excuse me. No, my future was assured. Wow, I sure missed this place. Glad to see it hasn't changed. Thankfully, the invaders didn't treat it too harshly. So, uh, hey, what's everybody plan to do once the war is over? Hmm. Honestly, I haven't given it much thought. Well, I know what I want. I'm gonna form a new watch, just like the old days. Hmm. I like that idea. As do I. It's still too soon to say what the future holds for Groom. But if it means we can carry on her ladyship's legacy, I can see why Periel loved this city so much. Yeah. Periel pinned all her hopes for this land and the League on you. She could have chosen me, but no matter how I feel about it, she did not. She would have wanted me to help you, Noah. And I shall. We will do whatever it takes to preserve the beauty of this city she cared for. So long as we breathe, and even after we are gone. But I promise you this. One day, I will become the sort of man she would have admired. Someone worthy. This, I swear. I know you will, Yuma. Thank you, Noah. Well, Noah, it seems like the big moment has finally arrived. And not a day too soon. Then I guess I don't have to worry about you getting cold feet. Not that you are ever the type. I don't know about that, but there isn't really another way except forward. enough. Well, everyone's waiting in the Great Hall for you to give the order. Kobe Pool!
last, the day has arrived. Our preparations are complete. Each of the Allied armies has been fully outfitted and strenuously trained for the final assault of Duke's Aldrich's lands. I've arranged for ample provisions, as well as the means to transport them. Inside Galdia's borders, the Duke's military losses and the emancipation of the Emperor have divided the nobility's allegiances. However, there remains a good chance Aldrich can gather enough support to cling to power. We cannot squander this chance. We must bring the battle to him and end this war once and for all. This is also our chance to put a stop to his horrific rune lens experiments. Agreed. There's no excuse for what he's done. And as a guardian and warrior of the Alliance, I won't let it continue. This will be our final battle, Commander. Will you give the order? Give me a moment. Well, that's one way to kill the momentum. Are you ready now, Commander? This will be our final battle. We await your order. Give me a moment. Yeah, this is the big one. We should go in fully prepared. Colby! Are you ready now, Commander? This will be our final battle. We await your order. Give me a moment. You can never be too prepared. Are you ready now, Commander? This will be our final battle. We await your order. Give me a moment. Very well. We'll await your order once your other business is concluded. Are you ready now, Commander? This will be our final battle. We await your order. Let's go put an end to this war! We're about to march on Duke Saldric's lands in the Galdean Empire. We faced many battles together, many hardships, and we overcame them all! The battle ahead will be the culmination of the perseverance, diligence, and conviction we have shared. Now who's with me? Then let's go end this damn war!
Noah. Lovely night, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. It's just right. <laughs> Are you seriously still calling me ma'am after everything we've been through? Call me Cassandra, please. Oh, uh, sure. I guess I can do that. This war will be over soon. And I expect the Alliance to emerge as the victor. You do? Well, it certainly boosts my confidence to hear that. I have spent a long time observing the world of men, and have become adept at predicting the flow of human history. Wow. How long are we talking here? Oh, we elves live long lives. And I left my village when I was still young by our reckoning. I had fallen in love. Me, an elven maiden. He, a human boy. Is that right? Oh... We spent many happy years together. My inn, the Hero's Den, we actually opened that as a couple. <laughs> to me, that boy will always be my hero. Oh, so he... Uh... As I said, we elves live long lives. The story I told you is ancient history. But since then, countless people have come through my inn. So I can tell. The goddesses of victory are with you. A whole host of them. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> When I look at you, sometimes I remember those days of long ago. Now, let us put an end to this war. Needless to say, you will have my full support. As one of my goddesses of victory? Exactly that. is upon us, Dukes. Frankly, I'm surprised they didn't arrive sooner. There it is. Guardhaven Castle. So that's where Aldric is conducting his twisted lens research. Where are the forces of Lord Warwick and Lord Dalburn? On the march, Your Grace. It will take them several more days to arrive. <laughs> Bloody fence-sitters. They're playing wait and see. Still, we can force them to action by waiting it out. Time is on our side, so long as we hold off the enemy. Aldric still commands a large host of troops. In terms of numbers, you've little room for error. The Dukes will tighten his defenses and try to stall for time, but he's unlikely to fall for more of our tricks. We made it this far by fighting with one heart and one mind. We can win here, too. That's the spirit. Galdia must be made a righteous country again. I'm with you to the end, Lieutenant. A 
as a defender of the rune lenses. I must put a stop to this bloodshed. I possess confidence that we are doing the right thing. understand the greatness of my aspirations! and form a shield wall. We must stand and fight. Behold, the secret power of the rune lenses. No matter what! Who dares wins? Forward! Forward! Battlefield brethren, follow me! I mean, the rune tank hole, right? I pushed them too hard. Come on, girl. Don't fail us now! All forces, engage the enemy!
destroyed. But don't put your feet up just yet. Narangar, are we able to release the Drakkar? It's wounded from the last battle and proving difficult to control. I demanded calibration be expedited, but it's still too soon to consider deployment. Ah, stubborn thing! I've got something special for you. Stay alert! We're going all out! Brief respite. Let the troops rest and recover. The enemy is upon us! Fight! Obliterated! Who are we crushing next? Destroy the enemy battalion! But don't let down your guard! All that's left is to hunt down Aldric. Kobe! Let's finish this! The rune tank can't handle much more! We should take shelter!
Oh, Sylvie. Thank you for everything. Paul. I'll be all right, Sane. I'm going to fix her up. When I'm done, she'll be more lovely than ever before. Just the way I pictured her. So this is goodbye, but not farewell. I'll help you out. I guess I could carry your tools. Oh, very helpful, Valentine. <laughs> I'll help too. Thanks. Now let's go put an end to this war. Sylvie doesn't belong on a battlefield. She's meant to make people's lives better. And that's exactly how I'm going to remake her. All that remains is to bring Aldric to justice. Leave the remaining troops outside the castle to us. I'm entrusting my hopes in you, Noah. We all are. Luck be with you. Thanks. We'll be together in spirit. Let's finish the Dukes and put a stop to his barbarism. We won't let one more life be lost. And who else will be accompanying you? I will try my best. Okay, let's go find some sweet treasure. What? I have to babysit again. Joining us, Guru? Follow me! It is a pleasure to serve. Missed you, friendos! Good luck, Noah. I'll be praying for your safe return. This be it! This be the end! Let the sands crush your enemy like a great tidal wave! Yar! Now we settle things once and for all. Surprise, surprise, it won't budge. This mechanism looks a lot like the ones we've seen in the Rune Barrows. A sign that Aldrich's research has progressed? If so, all we need to do is find the lenses that serve as the door's keys. And then we should be able to open it.
Noah, we won't be able to open this unless we find both lenses that unlock it. They must be around here somewhere.
Look, the lens! This must be Eldrick's library. Look at the size of it! It puts some Imperial universities to shame! Yeah, it's overwhelming. It's an eyesore is what it is. Looks like there's a book shaped indentation. It looks like there's a book shaped indentation. It looks like there's a book shaped indentation. Shelves move?
Wrong book. I think this book will fit. Wrong book. Wrong book. I think this book will fit.
Wrong book.